In today's Power Query challenge, we'll sum the marks scored in various subjects and sort them. Let's dive right into it. Here is our first table. As you can see, it needs some cleanup. Our first task is to split each row if it contains two or more results. Let's start by loading our data into Power Query. First, select your data range, then go to the data tab and click on from table range. This will open the Power Query editor. Let's select the column, go to the home tab and click split column by delimiter. We'll use a comma as a delimiter and choose each occurrence. However, in the advanced options, we need to split into rows, not columns. Much better. But now we need to separate the subject names and the scores. While the initial thought might be to use split column again, we have different delimiters to consider. Spaces, hyphens or sometimes nothing at all. So we need another approach. When you need to extract text or numbers from a text string, there's a handy function called text select. Let's create a custom column named subject. Type text select and open the bracket. The first argument is our subjects field. And the second is a list of characters we need to extract. Open the curly brackets and type from A to Z in both capital and small letters. Then close both brackets and it's ready. Now let's do the same trick with the scores. We'll create another custom column and use text select with numbers from 0 to 9. With our subjects and scores separated, we can now group by subject to get the totals. Go to group by, select subject and add the score column with the sum operation. But now we've got errors in our totals column. To handle them, let's return to the previous step and transform our text values into numbers with numbers from text function. Finally, we'll sort the subjects in ascending order and there you have it, a clean sorted table with the total scores for each subject. Thanks for watching, see ya!